A winter wind blows over Dursey Island. Not a tree to sway in it, not a boat to shelter from it, few young men to protect the hay from it. There's a sting in the wind of change that blows over Dursey and our other islands. In better days, 300 souls carried on their lives here. Today, there are 50. The school has taken in the island's youngest child, its last pupil. We may now be watching the death throes of Dursey. It's a common story all around our coast, islands left to the old or to the elements. Every island along the County Cork coast has had a fast declining population in the last hundred years. Bear Island, which had a population of over a thousand, the size of a small town, now has only one quarter of that. Elon Clara had 756. Today, there are about 200. Horse Island has been abandoned altogether. The economic life of all our islands has been sliding down a steep hill for the past century and nobody knew how to pull on the brakes. The laws of economics dictated final ruin for the islands and perhaps other rural communities. The large industrial centres were more attractive to further growth, but here and elsewhere the weaker a community became, the less able it was to help itself. But things may now be changing. The inevitability of decline, so long accepted, is now at least being questioned. Dursey and other islands are putting up a fight for their lives. Dursey's weapon is this machine swaying in the wind, a cable car built for £20,000 and which has been operating for the past year. It provides vital, easy access to the mainland, communication out of which it's hoped will grow the economic revival of the island through tourism, the development of its agriculture, and perhaps even industry. But can the trend of recent history be reversed? Island life is hard and lonely, so might the cable car not just be a quicker way off the island for its young? There were number of weeks each year when you, you, you couldn't launch a boat at all. When, no matter how difficult the situation was in the end, you just couldn't come on for a sick call or take a person off to hospital or uh, even a funeral. They have been, people have been buried there down in the, in the cemetery and uh, uh, the priest had just to, to bless the grave from the mainland. That has happened occasionally, not very often, but it has happened. And I think that highlights the difficulty of getting into an island like this. And I suppose goes a long way in explaining why people, if they can get better employment elsewhere and make more money, why they don't stay here. But is this the thing, you know, with, with conditions so tough here, are people not right to leave? Well, I suppose I'd be the last to blame them for leaving. But uh, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't, uh, I'd say, uh, uh, take away from the fact that, that, that we can see advantages in people staying and uh, we ought to do our best, I think, those who do see these things, to try and make it possible for people to stay on. And the first step we saw uh, that was necessary was to uh, make communications with the island uh, more easy than they were. There, there, there is no doubt, but they had reached a point where they were next to impossible. And uh, this certainly has made communication very possible. We have around um, about a thousand arable uh, acres of land here in the, in the island. And by the way, it's the, it's the best land in all Vera and produces excellent cattle. Now, a thousand acres uh, is worthwhile developing anywhere. And the, the, this cable car will, will help enormously towards the development of those acres and, and, and the, the getting the, 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 the value of them uh, onto the, to, to the market in Ireland. But there is another and uh, a tremendously important development that can take place here, uh, and that is the tourist development. We have an island that has 
varying views all along it. Uh, we have an island that uh, can give a restful holiday to uh, tourists. Uh, I think a holiday that they need and, and will look for if we can uh, develop our potential here. But there's no hope of developing it uh, without something like okay we got but aren't the local people going to have to take part in this because they don't seem to be doing it they're not developing anything well uh, not not much yet I, I must say that is something of course that we have to develop but uh, we think we have put our foot to the first step of the ladder anyway uh, for instance look at this island now here uh, there are um, a number of houses here that are vacant that we can prevail upon the absent owners of these houses to have them done, done up with a board far to grant and have them available as vacant houses for letting during the summer to uh, families who would like a holiday like this. We started last year in educating people to farmhouse accommodation. But to what extent is this really just wishful thinking? Because the young people who are on the island now say they're going to leave anyway. Sociologists tell us about the population explosion. Uh, how in perhaps a uh, hundred years time at present rates there won't be way uh, uh, on this planet for all the people that, uh, that will be on it. Now it seems to me uh, strange that we have a lovely island like Jersey here with many assets that I've been trying to draw your attention to. It seems very strange to me an island that has been inhabited for thousands of years that at this point of time, when the population of the world is rocketing, that we should feel it a shame to try and keep this island alive and try to keep it a place where people can live in and enjoy uh, a quiet life. Uh, somehow it doesn't make sense to me. The young people certainly are going at the moment. But I think if we start uh, to do something about it, as I've been trying to indicate, I, I, I don't see why this uh, trend can't be reversed in the next uh, decade or so. I would say that it is looking very black for the island at the moment and as things are going. And uh, if things continue that way, there's no doubt about it, but it will be the final cotton for the island. And that, to my mind, will be an indictment of our whole outlook on life here in Ireland. What may happen is that it may be bought up by some foreign interests. The once busy villages of the island could now be a film set for a stage Irish production. In decades, little has changed except to decay. This is Ballinacolla, nearest village to the mainland. I lived there one time, so then the, it was all like it was a attached house, it was all over 100 years, so this family up on top of the village lived there, and I bought that house from them. So we were up there uh, about 10 or 12 years, like. The man, uh, well, he's what, what, living in Castledown Bear now, he had a job there, except for his mother. He's left the island? He's left the island, yeah. H how about that one over there? There was uh, Mr Lynch living that as well, that was another attached bungalow, years ago. And this man up here went to America, Jerry Sutherland, and, the lynchman bought that house from him. He went to America, yeah. Isn't All the way out to Detroit. Now, there's a deadly man living up in this house then, and he's living at Carmore now. And the woman that was in that house, she was a Mary O'Carry from West Cove County, Kerry. She came down here and she married a man by the name of Quinlan Dudley. She came down with him lock, stock and barrel. I uh -huh, didn't see nothing wrong with it. And they reared a big family and a good family. The whole lot of them are gone, and this Dan McNeil was living in Oden Car and Carl Moore himself and his wife. Well, his wife was from the island and his own family in England. Done all right. So that's life, do you see? But the candle's burning in the window still. But only barely. Barely, yeah. Ah, well, still, no matter. It's a great thing to see the light. They say light is a sign of life. There are now only 12 occupied houses in the island's three villages. This island, which once had its entire population massacred by Elizabethan forces after the Battle of Kinsale, but repopulated itself, is now again losing its people, not because they've been driven out, but lured out by better conditions elsewhere. In this chair, uh, who is not now, not car. Na television, na pictula, na 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 electric. Oh, I'm watching chat. Uh, they didn't have radio or television or 
Do you know anywhere they still haven't got those? Some of them anyway. Very long boy, Neil and Rodishin are in force. Of course, they have them on the mainland, haven't they? Yes. Well, the local people tell me that, we'll say, 50 years ago, there were, I suppose, 50 or 60 pupils here, and two teachers, of course. But um, even from that, at that time, from one village in the island, you know, there are three, there were more children going to the school than there are in the, from the whole place now. We've only got 10 now, and I suppose there aren't likely to be any more. The last child has started school here. So um, I suppose in, well, it probably won't last only five or six more years. What will become of all these kids? What will they do, do you think? Well, some of them, generally now, they go on to secondary school or vocational school. But I think the tendency after that is that they see a bit of the outside life and they're not anxious to come back here anymore. They get a bit of education. They probably get a good job, Dublin or somewhere else, and they're not anxious to return to island life, which you can't really blame them for, really. A study carried out on the now abandoned Gola Island off County Donegal pointed out that as familiarity with the outside world grows, the islanders increasingly come to adopt the standards and points of view which dominate the national culture. Standards which are essentially urban and even metropolitan in origin and flavour. The internal resources of the island do not permit the islanders to push up their living standards to match those in more prosperous areas. Emigration is the almost unavoidable response. Dursey has no church, no electricity, no TV, no community or dance hall, and no pub to soften the harshness of the life. Well, of course, they have the ranges, they have the gas cookers, they have fridges and all those modern things, you know. We have nothing here on the island, only all the old system. We bake our own bread and we make our own butter and have all our own spuds and vegetables and all that. And I just prefer for just the way I am. I wouldn't mind about having a fridge or any some of those things. <laughs> I think the people will leave. I think that in time to come, they'll be only the older people. Unless there are any fellers will come along and populate the island up. The island may have some of the best land in Bera, but there are no rich men here. They make a little over subsistence living out of crab and lobster fishing in the summer and farming in the winter. Oh, the poor man's bureau, that's what I call it, the shovel. A bad companion. <laughs> Can't help us. <laughs> for any poor man. <laughs> Does it provide much of a living on the island? For you? Well, it helps, you know, it helps. I get a bit of money here for the road, you know, keeping a bit of repair and keep things right. It is OK, I get so much in the ear for it, like, it is a great help. Help to buy a thing or two for the couple of garsons. Thousand repair of shoes and so on for him, you know. But has, is, is life on the island going to improve at all, Val? Oh, it will. All life will come up here, gradually. Oh, we love a great time in this area, for of course. We love a lot of tourists coming here now, you know. And probably they'll live here, for of course. For a matter of fact, there was a man asking me here some time ago, would he give him a bit of plantation of, for shallies? But Val, will there, will there be any Irish people left here? Is it going to be all strangers? Oh, no, it will not. Oh, indeed, no. We'll hold on to the island ourselves. For a matter of fact, there were strangers wanted to buy land here no, last year, and we wouldn't sell it to them. Why not? Well, no, Father Keane didn't agree to all the selling land to those strangers. For he imagined, and he said, when those strangers buy those, this land and get it on their own, you can't have nothing at all to do with them. They let everybody see that they are the boss. You couldn't even walk on their property. How did nothing to do with it, you know? Do you see? The stranger will not give and take you like the native. See, they're different people. They have different views and different ways of doing things. See, you can't make us bold in them. For a matter of fact, there's an old Irish saying, is like, the, the W you know is always better than the W you don't know. A lot to be said about it. 
But is, is the stranger not the only devil you're going to get? Because the, the young people here say they're going to leave the island anyway. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. Or they all won't leave it. It's just some of those young people, of course, get brain waves, but of course they fizz away after a while. All, all, all the youth won't, won't, won't stop here. I won't go away. Some of them will stop here, I know they will. They'll settle down here. They'll get jobs there, the men, and they can come back to their own home when they like. But, you know, is it really not wishful thinking? Because islands everywhere have, have, have lost their populations, or a lot of their populations. They have, yes. So they have the, they have the population. Yeah, the people have gone into the great city lights and into the great cities, but still, they come, the day will come when they'll all come back to the land again, though. But it's another generation that will decide if Dursey is to live or die. The island's young men could choose to earn their living here, bring their wives here, produce another generation here. But will they? No, I don't think it can be saved, like, because the population is going down so much, like, and the youth is dying out all the time, and they're moving out, getting different jobs and so forth. You're the generation that, you know, can either save the island or let it die. Are you going to do anything about it? No, I don't think there can be anything done about it now, like, at the moment. Even that we have the cable car, like, it doesn't make a big lot of difference. Well, I'd stay on the island, like, if there were, if there were any work on the island, like, or anything.